Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and today is the fourth day of five days of vehicles. Yes, it's the revamp, and of course, it's the ambulance. We've all predicted it, and yes, it got revamped. It also got a slight speed buff, so I want to go over that as well, and I want to go over my prediction for Friday's vehicle, because I think I know exactly what it is. Anyway, before I jump right into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. That really helps me a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into the ambulance revamp. So right over here at the hospital is where the revamp actually is. So yeah, the ambulance finally got revamped. It was added in 2018 for the first jailbreak live event. Yes, there was a huge volcanic eruption and it just added this vehicle. And now it got revamped. Unfortunately, the hospital did not get revamped. There's no actual interior or anything. Uh, there's no nothing new about the hospital. It's just the same building. Although the building does look a little bit different, uh, I don't really see any huge changes to it. Like, you know, I was hoping maybe there'll be an interior or something. But uh, yeah, there's no new changes to it. I think just like the outside got revamped. I, I guess it's a revamp, but you know, I was hoping for an interior. Anyway, with the new ambulance, you actually have an animation. So the door actually has animation now, open and close. And then inside, there's some lights. It's also like a... Okay, so look at this. This is from November 5th, 2018. And look, there is just like, uh, just like a little stretcher in there. And that's it. There's nothing else. Also, the door didn't animate. They just closed and opened automatically. But if we look now, uh, there's way more detail and yeah, it's a, just basically has way more detail also the sirens Yeah, so as you can see the lights actually they're, they're like all over the place I don't know why, but I, I really like, I don't know why, but I actually like sirens a lot. So one thing I just really hope is like, you know, look at these, all these lights are like the same thing. So for like a normal ambulance, I think the lights are like different. Like this one's red, this one's blue at the same time. But you know, I'm not complaining. It looks good. Anyway, this is, uh, I don't think I customized it. So let me go ahead and customize it. Okay, first of all, I, I want to make this look like an actual ambulance. So let me go ahead and remove uh, the texture. Yeah, look at that. So now it looks like an actual ambulance. Also, you can actually change the body color, like the, the stripe on the side you could actually change it with the second body color or the second texture yeah so look at that i can make it scion i can make it blue but i think you know red looks the nicest hyper red too does that look good right? i think i guess it looks good there's a little bit of shine from it so maybe i'll just stick with that we'll see that anyway for the max speed i know you guys are probably wondering i really don't know the previous ambulance max speed but it's definitely faster i hear it was between the range of like 120 to 150 ish so if we think about this the ambulance is actually going to be faster because it can go up to 160 60 miles per hour so that's what's pretty impressive about it so it's a little bit faster and that's because when there's like a new vehicle and stuff a SEMO got to change like you know there's a new weight for the vehicle so SEMO got to adjust the speed and sometimes it's faster and obviously I think a SEMO is going to make it faster to make people happy so I think this is what happened here but yeah look at that so it's climbing to 160 it actually can go faster look like 164 was where it peaked right there but let's see if we can go faster maybe I'm also using my speed testing route but like I'm not taking this like too seriously but you know we'll see we'll see all right Alright, I just got pushed from the very back by somebody. Someone literally just pushed me. Uh, but yeah, it's actually dropping. Uh, but yeah, I don't think... It's not going to go this fast. Someone literally just bumped into me and I went super speed. But yeah, I think 160-ish is around the max. Anyway, there's also more to this update. It's not just that. There is actually the military base. It actually got moved. So yeah, this is where the old military base was. It's right over here and now it's gone. And it was replaced with two buildings. So there's this random building right over here that sort of cuts into the hill. So it's a bit weird like that. Uh, but yeah, this used to be where the military base was and there's also like an overpass over here So this is pretty cool and also the billboard got moved It used to be like right here and now it's like right on this building So yeah, this is the new part over here But I, I like this update actually because the military base just doesn't really fit right there Like this desert was big, but I felt like the military base made the desert a bit weird So they actually moved it over to the expansion which makes a lot more sense because it's literally in the middle of nowhere And there's much more space and the expansion actually feels like there's something there now so i think it makes much more sense for the military base to be right over here so yeah check it out this is the new area 51 military base it got moved uh it's basically the same thing but they just made it here and i think this actually is bigger than the the city one obviously because you know that the city one had limited space this has much more space so i like this a lot Anyway, the next part of this update is the game passes actually got updated. The VIP game pass and also the boss and also the SWAT. So if you go over to Jailbreak, all the game pass icons just got updated. So as you can see, all of them have been updated. I kind of like the old ones. Maybe I'm just not used to these new ones, but yeah, they got updated. So let me go show you the SWAT, uh, the VIP and also the crime boss. So the new thing about the SWAT team is that when you die, you can actually pick where you want to respawn. Over here, it says, and an additional spawn choice point with parachute. 
shoot. And also there's another thing, be stealthy, less visible on the mini-map. This is also same for the crime boss, so you also can spawn wherever you want, which will be basically any of the criminal bases, plus a few extra spots, which I'm going to show you, and also you're less visible on the mini-map. For the very important player, the VIP over here, you also get additional spawn choice on death, unique to VIP. Oh, there's also one thing I forgot to add, and that is if you have the SWAT and Boss Game Pass, or if you bought it, you actually will get the secret base, the level 4 secret base at the police and criminal base, depending on which pass you buy. If you have both of them, you have both of them. If you only have the boss, you only have the boss one. So for boss, you have the criminal level 4 base, the secret one, you know, at the volcano, and the police, you have the secret one at the mountain area, if you have those game pass. You get them immediately. So let me go ahead and actually show this off. So when you die, you actually have this, choose spawn, and then you can choose wherever you want. So I just chose that random spot, and this is actually the parachute uh, spawn points. You actually spawn in right over here at the town with a parachute. Now, I did this again, so there's also more. So there's also the military base, that's also one. Also, there's one over here, which is the gun shop in the city. And the rest are just like police bases and stuff. Like one of the prison, one of the city and all that stuff. This is also the same for the criminal base. You can spawn at the town and also this gun shop as well as any of the criminal bases if you have the crime boss game pass. So yeah, the parachute just basically means you spawn over at the town like I just showed you. And then you spawn off a parachute. Which I think is pretty useful. So like if like a cop is like camping the bases, you can just click the parachute option and then you can like run away. Anyway, it's time for this part of the video, and that is, of course, the prediction. So, when they actually announced the ambulance today over here, they actually revealed more letters, which was what I was hoping for. I was hoping to do it yesterday, but they didn't do it, and they finally did. So, the is officially confirmed, and then there's also an A, which we already knew, and now there's also an L. There's also seven letters right over here. And I believe I've narrowed it down to which vehicle this is. And that is this over here. It's called the Javelin. This fits exactly with the wording. First, there's an A, there's a duh, and there's also an L, which fits right in. So the Javelin could possibly be it. And it's actually the Koenigsegg 1, and it's also like a torpedo revamp. Now, it's a bit confusing why I would choose a torpedo revamp, but, you know, I always thought that the Friday vehicle would be a hypercar, so I predicted maybe a Koenigsegg. So how confident am I on this? Well, you know, I'm matches up with the name so I'm like 85% confident if this the reason why like I'm 15% not confident is because like for example on Wednesday this used to be called the RC controller by Speed Queen but Asimo actually renamed it so it's called the Desert Crawler now uh, so I think over here maybe Asimo renamed it but I think this fits like look at that if you look at the the outline of it I mean the silhouette of it and you look back over here it fits pretty well with what it is. Like, I think this, this fits pretty well. You know, the wing, spoiler, I mean, the spoiler, and, you know, the design of it, it, it looks alike. So I have a feeling that that could be it anyway. So tell me what you guys think about it down below. Do you guys think it's the Javelin or do you guys think it's something else? I gotta say I'm 85% confident. Like, I can't be fully confident because, you know, I don't know. And yeah, Asimo could have renamed it, which I wouldn't also be surprised if Asimo renamed it because he did that on Wednesday. So yeah, there's many possibilities. But let me know down below what you guys think about the Javelin being maybe Friday's vehicle. And by the way, Friday's vehicle is limited, which means means you only have 48 hours to buy it and uh, yeah if you don't buy after that it's going to be limited and you're gonna have to trade for it there's also someone who asked like am i covered for the week i own the ambulance they have 1.1 million dollars and i see replied saying mm, so that means yes so yeah if you have more than 1.1 million dollars uh, you're fine for this uh, update i mean it's kind of obvious because the vehicle is between the range of 100,000 to 999,000 so yeah you got to be at least having 999,000 to have enough but honestly my prediction is around less than 700k maybe 700k at, at its most i don't think the has made a vehicle more expensive than 700k especially if it's limited so that's what you should keep in mind anyway thank you guys for watching today's video i'll catch you guys tomorrow i will be live streaming tomorrow for vehicle number five and all that stuff so thank you guys for coming to the live stream and anyway thank you guys for watching today's video i will be live streaming tomorrow for vehicle number five anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you all later bye